Hi friends, in this session let's continue to the next task that is unzip our source files. So let's go ahead to our SSIS package design and the task that supports in SSIS for extraction is execute process task. This is not the actual task that unzip the files but this is the task that it supports execution of third party applications like winzip, winrar, 7zip for extract and archive files purpose. So extraction means unzip and archiving means zipping our source files okay so before we continue to the package extension to this we have to install our third party process that is anyone winzip winrar or 7zip so in this project i'm going to use 7zip software because it has good documentation and command lines are very simple so let's go to google and search for the 7zip now you will go to 7zip.org download page then download any one of the supported download that you want and click on that and install in your system. So while you install, you select the path that you want to install. So because I installed 32-bit application, it installed in program files x86. So the command that we use for extraction purpose using 7-zip is E for extraction and then source file path dot zip. Now let's drag the execute process task into SSIS designer and then move that execute process task inside for each loop container because I want to loop at the same time while we download files into our target location. So when it downloads the first file it unzip the source file into the same location and then it loads into our target table and then it continues to the next files downloading in the same way. So this is how I want to design the package. So that's why I'm including execute process task as well into for each loop container after script task. So let's map precedence constant to execute process task to execute after the script task completion. So let's open execute process task now and then give a reasonable name for that execute process task because we are extracting or unzip source files. So I want to unzip source files. That means extracting source files and then go to process. Now in the executable, let's copy our source path that you have selected while install 7zip software into executable and then arguments the command that we want to use that is e for extraction and a zip file folder location so let's go to our variables if we have that variables or not so to do that let's click ok now just for now and go to variables and uh, check whether we have that zip location here or not yes we have right target file connection is showing the fill path that's pointing to the zip file that is source file so we can use our variable name variable value here instead of this right so our expression follows like this so e means this one and then so this will be our expression you will understand better when work on that so this will be our expression now let's close this and go to execute process task again and go to process the arguments i want to make it dynamic because i want to change target file connection for every loop right so this value must be dynamic right so i can't give it like here so I have to go to expressions and then go to expressions, property, arguments and then expression. So here enter copy this value. So E means string, right? So we have to use double quotes to specify that string, right? So that's why the double quotes comes. So E space within the double quotes plus and I want double quotes. So like here I want double quotes before and after the path. So, so the string E doesn't have any double quotes. That's why I've mentioned it within the double quotes. But source file path in, within that string itself, we have the double quotes, right? So that's why in order to specify double quotes in expression, in an SSIS expression, we have to use the backslash and then the value double quotes. Then only it considers that double quote value otherwise it gives you an error so let's copy the 
this expression as well here and then click evaluate so it shows you the exactly the path that we the command that we need to provide to 7-zip so e and then the full file source file zip file path right click ok now so arguments we have passed now and then go to general process again so now the arguments is coming is dynamic it will be populated at runtime and the working directory is our target folder directory so now let's go back to our variables again so target folder connection is our working directory right so this is where we have all the files so so this will be our working directory so working directory is target folder connection so let's go to unzip source files again and go to expressions and then value for working directory is our target folder connection so this one right and I'll click ok so this is our working directory now that's right click ok so we've got parameters now click ok so now we have done with uh, execute process task mapping now save it and let me rename this source the previous task as well as download source files source zip files yeah, for example okay so let's save it and execute again i wanna delete whole source files again to test the package is executing as expected or not now start the package so you can see the first file is unzip extracted and the second file extracted third file extracted so all are running one by one the package execution is completed so we are now completed the second task as well that is extracting our source files see you in the next session thanks for watching my video